What is up, everybody? We are back here for more of the great event here today, the Collegiate Crew Battle Yes. for yes. Smash Ultimate. I'm Karen Noll, joined here by BFP. We're already a bit into it, actually. Got to University of Mount Union versus Manchester. Yep, it is seven to six right now. There was a little bit of delay yep. with, uh, with our first game, but as we all can see, Mount Union taking an early lead in a crew battle. So okay, it's, it's frozen. It's fr I, oh, it is I, frozen. I was wondering if he was just you know <laughs> sits that still just or if, pondering, you know, huh? How do I win game two? Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, there's like this poker player who like, it just, you see like the camera like go to him and he's just like completely still for like 20 <laughs> seconds and everyone's like, something wrong with the TV or? <laughs> no, he's just thinking. He's no, just and then, thinking. And then you just see him move, you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, he's, he's fine. So while we are working on the freezing of the actual game itself, we do have a storyline of Bruin today. So the yeah, University of Mount Union has defeated two undefeated teams this weekend for the Great Lakes Esports Conference Championship. That with uh, Baldwin Wallace University, and I can't think of the other one right now, but there were two undefeated teams beaten by the University of Mount Union, and actually, Manchester is undefeated too. So if history repeats itself, yep. we could see... Well, could be another upset there, yeah. yeah. You know, that... Yeah, that other, that other college you couldn't remember is so mad right now. <laughs> oh, I know, <laughs> I like, know. Oh, I'm so sorry. We were there. We were there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and we uh, we saw some great talent yesterday because yesterday was day one of this Great Lakes Esports Conference um, bracket, weekend bracket, and this is championship Saturday. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, I hope. I mean, hopefully, you get to see a lot of matches. I mean, we will see a lot of games today for we will sure. See, yes. <laughs> yes. So, for those not familiar with the format of a crew battle, is we're gonna have nine stocks versus nine stocks, three players versus three players on each team. So it's going to be if I'm player one on my team, and there's an opponent, and they take all three of my stocks, but I leave them with one of their stocks. They come in with their one remaining stock, while my team has to send out the second player with three stocks. All right, so it's not, you said it's nine stocks. Nine stocks. So that means three players per... Do they have to swap out each time? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anytime you lose all three of your stocks, the next person on your roster does have to come up, and you get, like we said, teams of three. Well, no, I mean, if like one, if that team of three loses, do they have to get send in three new people? Oh, the they do team? not have to send in three new people. Okay, no, so they, can, no. they can keep running back the same yes, three people. they can run it back can the same Can you counterpick with different people? They could, could. Counterpicks okay, are super right. strong That's in crew interesting, battles. Interesting. Oh, the, get into the mind game. <laughs> are, you, are, are you staying these players? <laughs> and we were talking about how large these rosters are. I, I believe the University yep. of Mount Union has 15, and then Manchester has 18, yeah, technically. It's, so. it's a lot, so you know we can see uh, potentially a lot of variety in our games. Or you know we can just see one player sweep. You know, we could. And between you and me, it might just happen. <laughs> but. Hey, we don't believe in spoilers here, so watch for yourself, chat. Well, in case, uh, do we have any ETA and we're getting into that next game? No, okay, no response from the voice in the sky. So we are here to stall for you a bit longer. <laughs> uh. So in crew battles, you'll normally see after every player loses their three stocks, you'll, you'll have like a time period where the team itself is theorizing who to put in next. So they're always congregating and saying, okay, maybe we lost to a Pikachu. How do we put it? Do we put in a Pikachu's worst matchup, or do we put in a player on our team that just ha so happens to be good against Pikachu? So there's a lot of thinking in crew battles. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, it's a bit dangerous because you know sometimes like a pretty volatile character mm -hmm. that like you you have to find the right spot because yes. you know they're like you you know you you play Luigi yes. for instance. Luigi, Very good you know, can a decent counterpick character, but like you have to find the right spot for it because yeah. like Luigi is bad to send in. If you uh, just need to clean up one stock, because you know you might get that stock pretty quickly and uh, not lose your stock, but your character is so counterpickable. Yes, it is. That like yep. you could just go into basically like a, just a very hard matchup if they've got like you know some, something like a Mewtwo or something just in the wings. Wow, <laughs> I was thinking Min Min Sephiroth, yeah, those, Zero those, Suit. Those are, yeah, those terrible things. matchups for Luigi. Yeah, just <laughs> easily, he's a counterpickable character. <laughs> But like if you know if you've got a good matchup and you see like the person has three stocks left, you're like, okay, we'll send the Luigi in here. Mm -hmm. He'll get, you know, maybe he gets one off his bad matchup. Yep, yep. You know, so uh, it's just one thing to consider for crew battles is how your character does because normally we see a lot of zero to death, high advantage state characters in crew battles for a reason. Yep, and you know, 
it's, it's an interesting part of crew battle, really. Now, we might see a bit less of that here, because it's going to be on three people. Mm -hmm. So we're a bit more restricted in what we're doing here. Yeah. Got a Pikachu player. Unfortunately, uh, I do not recognize the players directly. And no. Hopefully, we get some names on screen, but, you know, we might not. No, it's it just going to be these if oh it follows okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel bad now, <laughs> but now I, I got to call them, you know, player one and player two. Pikachu and Diddy Kong. That's what we got to go Ooh, with. Inter interesting, uh, interesting counter pick you're put into here. I, I, don't, I don't know if I like having to go in as a Diddy Kong into a Pikachu. Now, what you're going to see here is Pikachu two of their stocks because they lost two stocks last game. So they're going to start this game with one stock while the Diddy Kong starts with all three. There's the taunts, and we are on for oh, game no, two. No, no, no three, two, one, go. No, We're doing things differently taunts. now. Okay. <laughs> Final a dash attack. That's pretty good. This is the combo off of it. All right, it's fine. You know, first game of the day. And picking up the umbrella. Oh, Diddy with the bananas. One of the scariest characters in the game. Yeah. Again, that being said, I, I'm not a fan of this matchup for Diddy Kong. I yeah. Think, I think it's one of the you know the scarier ones. I obviously, of course, think Diddy Kong can do it. Uh, like, Pikachu, again, I think can struggle a bit with the uh, Banana Held and Shield, but aside from that, just so many options to maneuver around Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about this earlier. It might just be that this university or Manchester University player could just be good against Pikachu, you know? It's possible. And, like, per also possibly the last person they have uh, set for this match. Just, they're like, hey, I, I play, like, Bowser or something. Don't, <laughs> that could don't be you, the case, Don't too. you send me in against that rat. <laughs> no, not against the rat. <laughs> but we're actually going to see pretty even stocks right here. And if you are this Pikachu player, getting this Diddy's first stock is going to be huge. Yep. You know, always good to you know, put yourself uh, ahead in a crew battle. Your job in a crew battle should be to go even or plus one, you know. The, the one uh, downside of every competitive game is, you know, someone's got to lose. Oh, yeah, but that... Gets an edge guard. Oh, and gets the kill. If gets the it. kill, too, yeah. Great forward air, intercepting the Diddy Barrels. And like I said, you want to go uh, even or plus one. You're already at that plus one. Anything more than this. Oh, is, nair loops. Oh, we got these. Oh, I'm missing the fast fall on the second nair. Oh, that's fine. It's still yeah, it's still 27. Under, under and that should do it. There's a little bit of charge on there, too, from Diddy. But, hey, this Pikachu player did their job. You know, they got obviously three stocks from the last game and even taking a fourth stock from the Diddy player this game. Yep. So uh, good stuff to that Pikachu player right there. Again, I wish I knew their name, but <laughs> it's all right. Uh, we're going to see what uh, is going to come next for University of Mount Union. Yeah. What are you theorizing against Diddy? Like what? What matchups do you think? I, mean, I saw. Well, I, it, it, it depends. Are they? Do they have a set team of three that they've sent in here? Are they? Are they you know, pulling from their roller decks of fifty players? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they just rock, walking around with a roller deck. Just all right. Who does what against oh, who? Oh, <laughs> do do we have an answer for that? They've also had a whole season playing. Like I believe these teams have played each other in a regular season as well, so they could already be familiar with these matchups. So they could fall back on that season knowledge as well. Like maybe they had a player that just so happened to beat this Diddy player in the normal season. So they might as well send him again here in the, the playoffs I mean, and championships. So against Diddy Kong on two stocks, I'd like to see a character that can just pretty much basically like evenly whittle down Diddy Kong. Like mm -hmm. probably just end it only losing one stock of their own. Um, cause yeah, because you're not really going to blow out Diddy Kong with that yeah. many matchups. So I'd say here maybe like a... Uh, Steve is banned. Um, yep, Steve is banned on this collegiate crew battle conference. So I would not send in any FGC character. He is too risky. How do you feel about Zelda or Samus? Zelda or Sa oh, Samus. Yeah, actually, I would definitely send in a Samus if, if you had one. Yeah, we saw Samus from the University of Mount Union yesterday, I believe, pull their weight and take three stocks. So Impressive. I think Samus is the perfect character that, as you said earlier, is going to be able to whittle down Diddy. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like character that can you know pretty evenly play against banana. Uh, so we will see uh, what happens here. Right, locking on that Diddy Kong. The Trixie Kong alt. No Dixie Kong. Oh yes, yes, it is no, Dixie. Yes, on, yes, yes. Except for the Kong knowledge. <laughs> Sora. We're gonna Sora. 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 What are we doing here? Anyway, uh, update those stocks. It should be six to five. We are about to get into the next game. Oh, Look at everyone easy, behind the glass it. cheering on their boy. I love crew battles. The atmosphere of crew battles is amazing. 
Blow it up. Goodbye, Diddy. And we're going to see the taunt, and they're going to go. Uh, huh. yeah. Interesting note, actually. Uh, the timer. Oh, yes, that's right. seven minutes instead of 99, like uh, is traditionally done in crew battles. They uh, did this at um, uh, Riptide as well. Again, uh, it was only ever relevant in one match where... Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing timeouts today. I'm going to be yeah. honest. Again, it was only ever relevant in one match where, uh, you know, honestly... Uh, let's not talk about that match. I don't want to enter that Falco discourse again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... Yeah, we're not going to be seeing any timeouts today. It seems like everybody on these crew battles just want to get in and brawl with each other, to be honest. Yeah. And, you know, I don't like that against Diddy Kong. No, no. Like, Diddy Kong extremely good against brawlers, particularly just because Banana and Shield is just so powerful mm -hmm. when you're trying to attack him. Oh, that was a great roll out of the corner from Sora. But now Sora's got Banana and just throws it away. Oh, picks it back up. It. Like, I, I don't, like, I'm trying to think, think, like, what is the idea behind putting Diddy Kong here? Right. Dash Deck was a bit of advice, probably could have got something a little bit better, but it's all right. You know what, you get the damage, and there's the up smash out of shield to get the stock. Yeah, it's a really good option, actually. Mm -hmm. and, and realistically, one good banana combo could take another stock. Sora's pretty floaty, but is easily comboed. Yeah, and this is actually, like, a, the situation you really don't want in a crew battle, or, like, you're like, okay, time to put it on a counter pick. It turns out your counter pick is the wrong option. And I think Diddy Kong is a very easy character to pick the wrong option against. Yes. Yeah, Diddy can open you up, as you can see here, almost tying in percents. Yeah, if you're the sword player, you gotta not get hit by Banana, avoiding the punish there, but... You also, in the Diddy matchup, oh, you, ooh, the forward smash going to take it. Yeah, unfortunately, just fell right into it, not quite realizing uh, what was happening out of that disadvantage. I mean, you know, that happens sometimes when you hit a few too many buttons. Mm -hmm. I think a very key attribute of the Diddy matchup, too, is using banana against him. And so if, you can, if your character can find successful banana conversions against Diddy, it's going to be a good thing. Yeah. Well, well I... Okay, well, missed both of those. Okay, okay. but gets the down tilt up smash. Found the final one. And this, uh, I'm favoring Diddy from this position. Yes, especially with Banana in hand, you're going to see a quick 22% right here. And, like, these uh, super long strings Sora likes to go through against, like, faster followers or heavier <laughs> characters don't quite work against Diddy Kong. No. Like, gonna, characters going to get outpaced pretty much completely in the combo game. Oh. However, a few too many air dodges coming up from the Diddy Kong I was about player. to say, that panic air dodge is going to get caught sooner or later. And really, both of these characters can kind of punish a panic air dodge. Yeah, Diddy Kong a bit less... Oh. That's going to be it. Sometimes, sometimes you just you know, slip on a banana peel and it's over. All right, that Diddy Kong player clutching it up for Manchester University. Yeah, and the counter pick for University of Mount Union not working out there. Yep. Fortunately, I'm going to lose the lead they had. Uh, going to see what they try to throw in at the end here to close out the first set. Uh, you know, we can sit here all day and talk about how that was a blown lead, but that was actually really well played from this Manchester University Diddy Kong player. Yeah, I mean, it was well played. I mean, I think they just executed the game plan Diddy Kong has here mm -hmm. very well. Again, like I, I was saying, I wanted to see, like, you know, a different, like, archetype of character in like, yeah. Samus or another type of zone or in against Diddy Kong. Uh, Saint and Sora, real high risk game there, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm being honest. And no, you're right, you're right. It kind of seemed like the University of Mount Union Sora player had an idea of how to continue and push advantage state, but was just a little bit hesitant. They had, made, I made think they terms. had an idea, I think they had an idea of how they'd like to play Sora, mm -hmm. but not an idea of how they'd play Sora versus this Diddy Kong. Yeah, yeah. Is more the way I'd put it. Like. Diddy Kong, like, it also depends a lot based on the player, but requires a, usually a very specific game plan. Mm -hmm. And, like, once you figure out your anti-Diddy game plan, you're like, all right, this is what I do. I know what I'm doing. I've got this. I play it like this. And it's, like, it's like it's pretty, pretty like, again, specific uh, what you do and don't, how you play against Banana, how you utilize Banana. Do mm -hmm. you just, like, try and throw it back at him? Do you throw it away? Do you throw it up so that it stays out of play longer? It, it's all those many things, and like 
you don't have that specific game plan in and you're you don't play a character that like cleanly just beats Diddy mm -hmm. Kong, uh, it's gonna be real rough for you. Or if you have a lack of Diddy Kong practice in general, you're gonna get steamrolled. Diddy is a very snowball s character. If you do not execute a game plan against him, you will get punished heavy. Yep. I mean Diddy Kong's good a good character for a reason. And what would be the pick here? This is going to be a PT. I like this against. Diddy I do. Kong, actually. actually, wait, no, I don't. I like it. Oh, I, no, I, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't. I think Squirtle's going to do a really good job of avoiding everything Diddy has to offer. Wait a minute, no, I, wait a minute, no. I think Diddy Kong's great against this character. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, I guess they, maybe they just didn't have a great thing to send against the <laughs> general. Boom. And we might just see a different roster for Gate, or like the actual set number two. Not quite possible. Yeah, Squirtle's gonna, at least at these early percents, Squirtle's gonna be really light, not as easy to combo. No, I think I think Squirtle gets freed up by Banana. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too early switch, too early of a switch to Ivysaur. Ivysaur has not a great disadvantage. Or, yeah, does not have a. a oh, God, it's just so. I don't, hard I don't know, actually. I, I actually think almost like Ivysaur a bit more. And... Oh, we're trying to go for the forward smash read. So, like, I think that Diddy's combos, they're pretty universal. They'll work on whoever they want, whenever mm -hmm. they want. I think Ivysaur with the Razor Leaf has an option to actually put out, uh, you know, just a move that, like, does more. Now, this character, I, I don't, don't like, like this. at all. I don't like Charizard against Diddy at all. Hold on, wait, we're, we're cooking. Wait uh, a minute. Hold on. The, see, the, we, we can talk about theory all we want, but, you know, sometimes when somebody... Oh, oh you got to use your throw invincibility to not get hit you, by banana there. When you're cooking, but then a banana accidentally slips into your <laughs> stew. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, and, you know, you ever though. add a banana to a smoothie? It just like ruins the whole thing. I'm not the biggest banana guy. Oh, this not gonna kill, but Ooh, yeah. that's a ledge trap. Okay, the ledge trap's going very well, but that's that sharp. Oh, this should be it. Super yep, bad. that was a risky flare blitz. And actually, this Diddy player from Manchester University really pulling their weight. Yeah, this is uh, five stocks taken so far. Mm -hmm. All right, if I'm oh, University wow. of Mount Union, I am just sitting back with Ivysaur and Razor Leaping. That's not going to kill too early for that. Yep. Next one will, though. So, yeah. you know, get it up while you can. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I was Speaking surprised. Cooking. I was oh. surprised the banana didn't activate and slip him up on the mistech. Uh-oh. Uh, Grab this, the banana, yep. This is a situation I hate to be in against Diddy Kong. When you feel it slipping away, and you're just like, oh, I just need to take the stock. There's a little bit of charge there, but you are Charizard. You're heavy. You're not going to die just yet. But the next one. You're oh, no, no, no. Cross stage. Across stage. Charizard, the lightest super heavy, but you know, still a super heavy. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's, that should kill. Yep. You you can it just you can sort of feel the choking, uh, suffocating feeling of Diddy Kong. Just you're like, oh, I just need to get the stock off. Yeah. You can't. You can't Character. make your kill options too obvious. Character is extremely good at playing when it, he knows that you are looking for a pretty good thing. All right, back air's going to take it for sure. But, man, you lost two stocks. This Diddy Kong taking six? Five. Yeah. Also, like I was saying, I do not like PT into Diddy Kong. Yeah, no, know. that was... I don't think there was enough Squirtle. I'm going to be honest. I do not think there was enough Squirtle, but I, you were I constantly do, getting hit. So. I do agree that uh, Switch to Ivysaur happened a bit too fast. Uh, that being said, uh, just... Just, like... The Ivysaur and Charizard just got, like, sort of ran over. Yeah, Look at that did. second stock. Like, again, you're just like, ah, oh, I need to get the kill. So you start doing a few more obvious options. Mm -hmm. Throw obvious options to Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's taking you out. Yeah. When you think about it, that Manchester University Diddy player, I feel so bad for not for not knowing their tag either. Gosh, I feel so bad. Um, All right. Well, is, am I being told that uh, Diddy Kong's player was Duck? Duck. Duck is their name? All right. The Duck sweep. Okay. You got it, everybody. All right, well, thank you for the information, chat. Duck did amazing. Duck190 is the tag. Well, Duck go, 190 Duck190 is the tag. Thanks a lot, uh, newbie Sadie. Uh, keep that in mind. Very Duck good. Duck got five stocks. That's so good for five a group stocks. battle. So no, good. No, no, no. That's, that's was six it six? Stocks. That's six stocks. That's, that's even better six than stocks. five stocks. Duck190 Duck gained six stocks. That's crazy. All right. Uh, remember the names around the rest of this. Yeah, very good Diddy Kong play from them there. Yeah, when you think about six stocks in a crew battle, that's two thirds of the other yeah, team. Yeah. Like, chat, if you can help us out and if you uh, know the tags of any of these players, just throw them in chat. We'd be uh, very appreciative. Yes, of we it. would. 
So but that, who do you send in against PT? Who's your last one? Like, what kind of archetype are you looking for against PT? I think you send in a warm body because it's three stocks to one. <laughs> well, I mean, it was also three stocks to one that we saw from Duck, and Duck took six. Like, uh, well, <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't three stocks to one. It was. Uh, he had three. No, he started with he three, started. and then you know one person took one. That's true. That's true. Took one. Then another person took one. So it looks like Grimbo is the uh, Man U player. Okay. So we're gonna see who Grimbo plays. And if anyone can help us out with the University of Mount Union tags, that would be excellent too. All right. All right. I don't know. I guess a lot of Manchester fans in the chat. We do. Hey, I always love support for. Your young gentleman when it comes to uh, a crew battle. Uh, there was a, there was not a lot of support for uh, me when I did collegiate. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, got a bit bigger. No, it was. It it's was, got a bit bigger it now. Was, it, the chat was all OSU and Big Ten hate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that actually makes sense. Yeah, and I'm just like, all oh, right, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And then actually in chat, uh, University of Mount Union players tag is Noble. Noble, okay, thank you. Noble and Grimbo. Okay. <laughs> We're going to see you a know plant. What? You know what? A that character is insane with a stock lead. Yep, yep. You know what you are in a crew battle? Well, starting out with a stock lead. Let's see you play against Patui with that. <laughs> have they all been using the same tag? I, or have they changed tags? I know they all start with House OP. There's the taunts. Oh. And we're in there. Now... I was about to say, Piranha Plant's going to take a lot of damage being a heavy character. Like, Squirtle's going to have a pretty good advantage Squirtle, state. yeah. But, hey, like we've already established, you just need to take one stock. Yep, oh, spit on him. Oh, no, nice. he's saving it. Okay, there it is. Oh, missing the down throw up B. Yep, good DI from... Uh, Don't do it again. Well, you're, okay, what do we... So, you know, if he DI'd good once... Well, she's not going to DI good the next time, right? Ah, well. <laughs> oh, just trying to sneak that up smash in there underneath the Smashville platform. I like this switch to Ivy right here. I think 50 or 70% is pretty good. Oh, good okay. Okay. Oh, uh, down too early on the down air. What's the ledge trap from Grimbo? Oh, we parry. We parry. The gas. Really want these Razor Leaf conversions if you're noble. You are running out of time here if you're noble. Yep. I, got uh, I don't know if the Charizard sweep. Oh, what? that's just unlucky. Oh, no. That's just tragic, really. All right. Grimbo saying, get off my ledge. Oh, no, this should be an up smash. Wasn't quite able to capitalize. How do you find this kill if you're noble? Yeah, you have hard. to get it. And then you have to go to a next stock and then a third stock. Oh, it's a, a really tall mountain to climb if you're noble. Couldn't get up attack. That's okay. Oh. Just choosing this guaranteed damage, that's fine. You think both up throws can kill right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful. What? That move kills? Uh, up air? That move kills? I didn't realize that move killed either. I had no idea. Well, that's going to be our first set going to Manchester University. All right, and that was a uh, you know, well played from uh, them. All right, so we're getting a bit more information. See, the oh. Pikachu player was Air, the Sora is Quack, and no. Pokemon Trainer is Noble. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much, chat. Appreciate that. Awesome. And we know uh, Grimbo and Duck from. Uh, the uh, other, I don't min min player is still, but you know that's fine. We didn't get we, to see them anyway. We did not get to see the min min, <laughs> unfortunately. It's the first game though. It is. Well, I wonder just how much of the roster is going to be shooken up. I mean, yeah. Again, like I said, they got the whole roller decks. Yeah, <laughs> <Just> right. <laughs> <laughs> players like, let's see. Oh, Fleetwood is the min min I see from Sadie and Chad again. Thank, Thank you. you, Sadie. Thank you. Appreciate that. So it just begs the question because after game one, like they were, like University of Mount Union was leading by one stock. Yeah, they were leading. Oh, 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 Duck turned up. I, yeah, it was Duck. Duck was so definitely the MVP of that. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the first set. Yeah, I was a, I was a bit, uh, bit skeptical at sending in uh, Diddy Kong versus Pikachu, but you know, turned it around completely. Yeah. Uh, again. Uh, I do think the cornerstone there was, I uh, just don't think the Sora. It was the Sora, the Sora, yeah. the Sora selection was a good idea there. 
Yep, it was sending in Quack second that I think was the downfall of University of Mount Union. Yep. Uh, but now all teams are congregating to see if they need to maybe switch players on their roster or talk about different game plans, maybe uh, maybe even a different order, per se. Uh, yeah. If they do stick with the same people. I mean, it'd be weird if we saw the same three people every uh, every single time yeah. on a yeah. roster of 15. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. You can do what you want. Do whatever it takes to win. That's the that's the MO. Yeah, it also goes to show character depth of rosters, you know. More than likely, we're not going to see the same six characters, at least all six of them be the same. We could yeah. see maybe one or two. Yeah, teams are probably just going over strategy now. Mm -hmm. um, you know. I mean, could be a sweep. It's possible. It, it is possible, you know. Also, Ultimate has almost 90 characters that are playable. So it's like we're going to yeah. see a depth, like a deep character pool here in crew battles. We've seen a deep character pool all weekend from everyone that's competed here. Uh, yeah. yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what they uh, come up for next. And in the <laughs> meantime, uh, it's just some... Yeah, again, collegiate, particularly just crew battles, they're just... Such an interesting format. It's like you get just get to see so much, you know, different Smash than mm -hmm. you're used to. Yeah, having a double elimination bracket, like let's just use Mount Union and Manchester as <laughs> an example. You have 33 combined on both rosters. Doing oh a double God. elimination is, you don't get enough games with all your players, you know? You don't get enough action. Crew battles are a lot of action. Yeah, also just, uh, you know, characters just change like wildly yes. and like do you know about Lucario and Cruz? No, no you do not. Dude, no. Like Lucario and Cruz <laughs> is messed up. Like if you're if you're uh, forming a uh, crew uh and are doing crew battles, you need to get a Lucario on your team. Let me tell you about that. You need to get as we talked about earlier, anyone with a good advantage state or anyone, I mean in Lucario's case that has a comeback mechanic that's extremely it's, powerful. Dude, when you <laughs> When little when little Cario gets to start on stock one, it's, just like, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, do you want to sacrifice the stock and put your team at a disadvantage if you're maybe not gonna be play as well as you normally do? That becomes the question if you're a Lucario player in a crew. Not to get that aura. We're gonna see the Zelda from okay. the University of Mount Union. Yep, again, uh, not familiar with this player's name, but, you know, we'll see you back with the Piranha Plant this mm -hmm. time, okay, for uh, Grimbo back uh, treating us. Once again, I will forever talk about the glass behind our players, everyone supporting there. Oh, yeah, everyone's just standing right out there. Yep. Here we are, straight into it, PS2, okay, sure. Yeah, these players probably view the stage as a pretty neutral stage anyways. I bet they do. <laughs> anyway, uh, going to build the house with the knight. I think Knight's going to be super useful in this matchup. Like, it's it's a useful tool for Zelda in general. Oh, yeah. But what does Plant do against it? <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's like a class of characters who just struggle versus Knight. You know, Zelda, again, not known as one of the stronger characters in the game. But no. Like, they've, they've got some stuff that makes them pretty obnoxious to deal with for a particular class of character. Yeah, and really on... Oh. <laughs> we just uh, saw a reflector of the toxic gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get that roll. So also, Plant doesn't the Plant really have many approach options. Like, no. or they're, they're just very scripted in the way that they do approach. What you got neutral air, which okay, yep. shield it, it's fine. All right, was able to get in there, but like things are not going well for them right now. What's the ledge trap going to be? Another night? Uh, the night. Hey, yep. if it's not broke, don't <laughs> fix it. <laughs> Already seeing a lot of mileage off of... You know, this is looking a lot better in terms of stocks for University of Mount Union right now. It kind of, you know, Piranha Plant last set didn't lose a stock. Yeah. And now... Well, I mean, they only played against one stock. But, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever. In this case, uh, yeah, this is Zelda. See... Feels like we've got a bit of a ringer on our hands. Yes. Yeah. Oh, unsafe dash attack's going to lead to about 25 Okay, tech chase. Okay, tech chase. Tech chase. <laughs> All right, Piranha Plant has those. Woo! Oh, you can that up smash, too. Yeah. If you're Zelda, you cannot up be straight into that shield. Oh, the elite. Yeah, the elite smash special. <laughs> hey, that thing's like frame three or something. That's such a fast move. Wait, uh, which move? Uh, neighbor's Love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, neighbor, oh, you mean the... Yeah, the there. reflector. <laughs> Okay, neutral air into grab. Okay, Quick we're cooking something. 
want to see, you know, Petui get reflected one of these times. Well, that smash is good. What are we doing? Okay, what are we, what are we doing? We're just giving some handouts over here. <laughs> Actually rolling through Piranha Plant right there. This Piranha Plant, you know, bringing it back. Okay, you know what? We, to keep doing it till it works is the actual advice there. Okay, night working again. So, like you said before, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, they're jumping around. Oh, can't shield grab that. <laughs> even the half night does about 9%. Not even half night, like quarter night. I'm just dashing around. Hey, if, that, if it works, it works, right? Yep. Able to avoid that out of shield option back in neutral, but all that night basically just taking up all of that real estate mm -hmm. center stage. All right, if you're Grimbo, you have to find the kill here. Wow, Patui not gonna do it. <laughs> it just comes through with it again. That's a lot. Oh, I thought Patui was gonna drop straight on our Zelda player. Yep. Luckily, avoiding it though. Now just holding down center stage. Yep. And uh, they're just gonna, you know. Grimbo's just going to take uh, their stage in the corner, just mm -hmm. avoid the entire Phantom minigame. I can't blame them. No. It looks really obnoxious. Now you have to be careful about the dash attacks that's been thrown out of oh, your yeah. Zelda. You will get grabbed and upthrown by Piranha Plant. Oh, here we go. Oh, are we going to see that another night? This is scary. Rolls for the first time and doesn't cover it this time, actually. It almost seems like that Grimbo's a little bit nervous to throw out grab. Yep, which like is surprising. It, there we it, go. I was okay. going to say, it kills. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. I mean, up throw going to take it at 170 almost there. Ooh. Zelda wants Piranha Plant gone. Oh, that's oh, going to take it gone. off the top. <laughs> okay, well, Piranha Plant is gone There it now. is, they're gone. <laughs> All right, so good stuff to uh, Matthew, it seems. Okay. Wow. All right, so it's going to be Matthew uh, going up for uh, University of Mount Union. Yeah, same situation this set two versus set one. We have uh, the seven to six stock lead for Mount Union. I do think Zelda, though, pretty counter character. Yes, yeah. Uh, you know, myriad of bad matchups. You can like spin to any page in the roller decks, and you're you know, <laughs> likely to hit one. Yeah, if you have a character, if Manchester University does have a character that you know counteracts what Zelda's game plan is, or even counteracts just Knight, because it seems like or Rainbow you know Struggle if they're just Knight. you know what we call a good character. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they, they that's want... true too. <laughs> you know, because you know that is something Zelda struggles with. You know, good characters. Yes. <laughs> Zelda, not necessarily the strongest character of the cast. Opinions differ between on who you ask, but I really don't feel like there are much voices that say Zelda's high tier or top tier in yeah, no Ultimate. Great. So, all right. It looks like Fleetwood's going to come up. Fleetwood, okay. okay. The Min Min player that From chatted before, for us. Okay. Min Min versus Zelda. Okay. Clean it up. Okay. You know, I can see it. One interaction I just thought of is does Min Min Up Smash reflect Knight? Yeah. Ooh, 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 that's going to be interesting. It is interesting. I mean, it's a, it's a bit tricky because the Phantom Knight is uh, just. The timing on it is really weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm never exactly certain when like it's going or not. I don't know. They'll, they'll figure it out. Well, hopefully figure it hopefully out. Hopefully figure it out, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, they've got all these house names, apparently. It must be, it must be a team thing, then. House o Udon. Okay, Noodles. I noodles, yeah, that it. makes sense. We got Noodle Arm Girl gotcha. and Min Min. <laughs> uh, That's actually go. my favorite Min Min alt, too. I love that red. I think she looks so good. I uh, I don't know if I've looked at all of Min Min's alts. I, I know the can Cotton Candy one, and that's like it. Yeah, Cotton Candy's also good. It's the one uh, resident. Min Min player here in Columbus uses. Oh, it does time gear uses? Yeah, time gear uses. Oh, I actually didn't even notice. Blue and pink one. <laughs> and Min Min is kind of those characters we were talking about earlier that is just better than Zelda. <laughs> I mean. Yep. 
Ooh, oh, not good the grab. turnaround grab there. And, uh, you know, when you start running in and you're like, oh, I'm getting somewhere. No, no actually, you are not. <laughs> You gotta be careful with those uppies. We've seen so many. Uh, I just don't think you can do it in this matchup. Ooh, this is uh the Min Min oh, classic. And, and here we are. Min oh, Min gonna zone corner. you. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> this is just a rinse and I'm, repeat. I've got you here for all the time in the world. <laughs> Min Min can zone you from across the stage with her arms without a projectile too, so. Honestly, though, I, I don't. I'd get rid of Megawatt here. Stick with the Ram Ram. No, you wouldn't go Double Dragon. No, not Double Dragon. Mostly because you're putting them on the ledge, and I think that mm -hmm. for the ledge right here, you really want uh, you really want to get the one that like that should kill. I mean, I guess that's the why meatball you there. It. I guess that's why you picked the the Megawatt. Huh? Megawatt, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, like, why, who needs that trapping? You should come this big old one there. <laughs> <laughs> you just get hit with the meatball. All right, there we go. So that's going to be uh, Fleetwood uh, cozying out there on uh, that player. Now we're going to see who they can counterpick in uh, against Min Min. Did, did Fleetwood just give just the, the give eyes the, the, to the, he's like, you, to the U and like, roster? You, you, you and me, these chairs, oh. this monitor, let's do it. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> I love it. That's the crew battle atmosphere. I love it. This is talking, talking mess. I mean, you know, all these players have worked hard to get here into Championship Saturday for the Great Lakes Esports Conference. So it's like they're all very talented players in their coll collegiate scenes. Worked super hard this past season, too. And it all culminates to this event today. Imagine taunting as a main minimum player. Hey, hey, hold on. Nothing wrong with taunting. Doesn't matter. Doesn't no matter who you play. Yeah, nothing wrong with taunting at but all. If it gets in your opponent's head, you won the mental battle. And lame, remember, there are always asterisks around every adjective. You you say lame, but you know what isn't lame with the windscreen. The windscreen is not lame. All right, Metroid series, what we got? <laughs> Imagine losing to a lame character again. Uh, what? No, it's not lame with the windscreen. You know where that lame character is? The windscreen. You're seeing a number, a gold number one right up there in their name at the end. So call it lame all you want, but hey, lame and lost. Begin with the letter L. And we're going to see the Pikachu. Oh, this song. Okay, sure. This? Oh, just saying another Pikachu. All right, so this is basically, we finally get to see what happens. In yeah, exactly. Very first we missed it out the last the, set. <laughs> And it's going to be FD. FD against a Pikachu. This should be Advantage State City for Pikachu. Oh, yeah. It's definitely one of the Pikachu uh, picked it here. And the Nair Loops. All right, going to end it a little bit early. Yeah, yeah, this is rough. You see, this is where Air, the Pikachu player, is going to rely on the past knowledge of 40 minutes ago when these <laughs> yeah. last two played. <laughs> And already a quick 99% for air. Yep. Now here's the part that Pikachu somewhat struggles with. It it, it can be difficult for Pikachu to get a kill. Correct. If, like, you know, because, you know, Pikachu has, like, you know, a few, like, situations that set up for kills, but, like, if the opponent is, you know, on top of their game, it's, like, sometimes pretty hard to, like, get those. Yes. They just hit your tacks. We got a bit cheeky there. I'm done the stage. Anyway, doesn't die. matter. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. That's what I was saying. If Pikachu doesn't get that read or that edge guard or that, or you hit the tech when they go for the knockdown, uh, it can often end kind of bad for them. And like, uh, what I'm not seeing from uh, Air right now is just setting up the edge guard situation that you need against Min Min. Mm -hmm. And already at 70% almost too. And like, that, a Mega Lock can kill you at this point if you're Pikachu near, if you're near ledge. Yes, down throw thunder. Yep, uh, DI mix up. Minmo's a bit afraid of maybe DI dying from you know, an up throw or something, or not up throw, a uh, forward throw or something if they go too far because recovery's bad. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes it just causes you to get caught in the DI mix up. Oh, not connecting the second back air, but. Good oh, tech. great tech. Good you tech. needed to tech that if you were Fleetwood. You definitely needed to tech that. So. They seem to be trying to preempt. Ooh, yep. Oh, oh I'm getting the, third, the one. third one. That. Wonder. So, 
I, the thing that I'm noticing from uh, him, the minute in these uh, ledge trap situations, keeps trying to preempt the quick attack with a nair there. Mm -hmm. I think he should just stop doing that <laughs> and just, just keep throwing out arms. Because I think if you play around quick attack too much, you just end up giving Pikachu too much real estate. Yes. And you stick to what your character is good at, which is just throwing those arms at the ledge. Well, and there's that quick attack actually being successful right there. I mean, you know, see. Quick, sometimes quick attack is quick attack. Yeah. This is, that's probably got to be like the third or fourth time that Fleetwood's fallen on Pikachu Shield. Oh, 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 getting greedy. I actually love it. Yeah, die for it, though. <laughs> but going to die for it. I love the attempt, though. Get that Skull Bash I, in there. I respect the heck out of that, uh, that Skull Bash. But I, yeah, he's just going to go over. for one of those yep. this time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> he's like, all right, all right. Yep, last time was a bit too much. Okay. All right, what's going to be your advantage state if you get All in? Right, I was going to say, check this short hop back here. <laughs> we might see three or four backers in a row for air. Oh, yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought he was going to fall with Nair and start his little up tilt Nair stuff. I was about to say you had to get out of the corner if you were air. Yep. Not totally safe on shield there. Okay. Once again, if you are fleet with back aired out of shield just about every time against Pikachu. All right, able to oh, he wanted you know, it. make it back, fighting their way back on this, the ledge there. Oh, a bit unsafe. Pikachu's grab range is just enough to get that L. Still has no jump, though. Let's see, yep, yep. You have to save your resource if you're Min, -min in that situation. I, yeah, I, I don't like these down airs. The things seem to go wrong every time they do it. And now you're like an up smash away if you're Min, -min so... Wouldn't be surprised if we might see air just let the up smash rip. Oh, but you can't lose your stock right here if you're air. You cannot. Oh, okay, getting a bit cheeky on the last side. Oh, forward that's throw. scary. Got the arm. Oh, oh my god, there's the up smash. Yep, yep. Neutral air up smash. Gonna take it. Whew. That was, that was a pretty good game. That was pretty good. I want to finally uh, clutch it out there at the very end with that uh, neutral air to up smash. Yeah, well, that's common Pikachu confirm, you know. Bit, bit of a fake confirm, but whatever. We we'll <laughs> talked about that another day. In any case, good stuff to air, closing it out. Yeah, great stuff from now, air. I would have put uh, university, uh, his university up uh, one stop. Yep. Now yep. Let's see what they used to counterpick this. Last time they sent in the Diddy Kong, it uh, lost the stock, but then that Diddy Kong player did end up, to, you know. Yeah, it wouldn't sweep, surprise me if we see that Going on the again. whole duck sweep. Or if they were going to send in a different character this time around. Uh, is this duck? How was that on the controller, please? Either way, that air made me super nervous there. Oh my goodness. I was... Yeah, yeah My yeah, heart yeah. was pumping for him. There, there, there was a bunch of good stuff in there. That means, you know, they got, took an arm to the face. <laughs> yeah. He started off that game, too, with a 0 to almost 100% advantage state. Too. Yeah, and then just got thrown on the ledge and said, hey, you know, hold these. Verso in chat says, Nair loops go burr. Yes, they do. Yep. Oh, I know that. Lock it in. Ah, this is going to be Duck. We are seeing Duck again. Duck 190 time indeed. Already taking six stocks the last set, so. But, you know, with it being up and, you know, Duck now having to, you know, do the final clutch, might see something different from uh, Mount Union. Mm -hmm. uh, at the very end. No, and that's, of course, we get the air sweep on this game. We could have the air sweep. We could. It's very possible. There's something in the air here in Great Lakes. And, you know, doing it on uh, uh, Smashville just like the previous time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the jab at a disadvantage. Oh, don't land on the banana! Oh. Yeah, that was interrupting fine. It. Okay, that was, a, that was a weird air dodge, but... I assume it was just a missed item grab. If you are air here, you need to take a stock from Duck. You know, just leave your anchor with two, just to handle two stocks, that's fine. You know, your goal is to get a stock from Duck right here, and already off stage where Pikachu shines. Okay. Oh, good combo. Mm -hmm. Put him off stage. Oh, I love trying to call out that monkey flip. Uh, yeah, don't... Uh, Usually against the Thunder Shock, you don't want to dash up to it to shield because then Pikachu will just get the confirm off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a uh, bold. No, gonna live this one. 
Next one will kill though. Yeah, even game now. And he's gonna, he's gonna ledge jump. Pikachu has a decently good time of getting off that ledge. <laughs> gotta, <laughs> you gotta really gotta win that down tilt now. Okay, you need an edge guard right here if you're air. F tilt to back off. Down air. Oh! You had the down air lined up, air. What are you doing? Oh, it doesn't run back fast enough. Okay, going to the other side of the stage, probably. No, stick it to that left side. <gasps> you air dodge r Don't down wait, right do into it. the forward smash. Oh, that is unfortunately going to be the end of it. Oh, air had that stock, too. Just need to be a little bit more confident on the edge guards as well from yep, air. Able to do it. Now it's going to be a 3v3 going to the final one. Uh, actually, just real quick, because uh, I actually, do you know the stream name of the stream? Yeah, it's This is um, GL. Oh, G -C -G -G. there it is. G L E C G G. Right, yeah. Yep. Thanks, Esports Conference GG. Oh, I should have got that earlier, but all right, it's all good now. All right, so good for a Duck coming in there. Hey, it's looking like Duck's jamming out to his music. I love it. I'm a big game audio myself kind of guy when I play, yep. but there is nothing wrong, and I'm pretty sure there are actual scientific studies to support that listening to music. Like, while doing a physical activity, not there a, is some performance level. It's not a bad it. idea. You know, I always practice at home on a laggy monitor with no sound <laughs> to replicate the you know, experience of tournaments. Of like. tournaments, yep. <laughs> and then, what is it? My call in chat saying, it's finals day, baby. The energy is real. It is indeed. This is championship Saturday. And... Manchester going for their third Great Lakes Esports Conference Championship. They won both the spring and the fall championship in um, 2021. And Mount Union hopefully gunning to not have Manchester win their third one. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, they're, they're thinking. They're thinking about it. It's their sixth championship. Ah, I will. That is, it's six. That is even better. That is incredible. Six, man, not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you for correcting me, chat. I watched Manchester University's recruitment video and saw for Smash Ultimate they had three, they had two championships in 2021. So. They, 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 they a recruitment <laughs> video? There is a recruitment video. Yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. That's crazy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so hold on. So for Manchester, we've got... That one's pretty out of date. Uh, uh, yes, it is, Michael. I found that one out. Thank you, chat. <laughs> got Duck190 on Diddy Kong, Grimblow on Piranha Plant, Fleetwood on Min Min, Augman on Terry, uh, Pars on Kazuya, Mitch on Ken. That's okay, right. so you, F, if you are... There's a there that we just haven't seen. I was about to say, I... Uh, well, it would be or interesting to see... On UMU, we've got Air on Pika... Noble on Pokemon Trainer and Wa Wa Walugi. Walugi, Walugi on, on, Zelda. on Zelda. Okay, so let's see what we're throwing in here. Does this mean that we are going to see the Pokemon Trainer? Is this Noble all over again? No, this is not Noble. I was about to say, it doesn't look like different. Looks like a new player we have from the University of Mount Union. Kirby 101. Oh, he's, he's uh, uh, I thought he played K-Roll for some reason. You think a Kirby kid? I, uh, you know what? That's probably it. <laughs> Chat asks, do they put the players in a different room because of rowdy fans? I wouldn't say because of rowdy fans, but it allows for a better spectator <laughs> experience for the fans behind the glass. Oh, also, a better experience for the competitors, really. Yeah, yeah. You don't want fans behind your ears screaming like right next to no, you up hold on, on you. Now this, this is what I want to see versus yeah. Diddy Kong. This is a great matchup against Diddy Kong. This, this is what I throw in against Diddy Kong. Yes. Send in the secret agent. Said duck is cooking. Duck is cooking. <laughs> Not like these grenades that uh, that this University of Mount Union player that Kirby is tossing out. Yeah, We're gonna see the banana. Not really cooking. Yeah, not really cooking most of these grenades. Uh, it's like you build up a bit of a stronger wall. It can't roll into Diddy Kong. No. Not what you want to be doing with Snake. Diddy Kong's expecting that roll in. All right, here we are. Break out the dash attacks. We need damage. Now, Diddy Kong is pretty light, too, so you're going to see a probably kill a little bit earlier. He's not that light. 
average. No, he's, he's happier than you think he is. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just seems like such a small monkey. I know, right? <laughs> Just seems like such a small monkey. No, you like it. No, you're like, oh, it's a small monkey. He's not that heavy. And then, like, you, like, look up his weight. You're like, what, what the hell? <laughs> you're like, yo, cut, you need to cut back on those banana smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to get the banana down smash. Speaking of bananas. And here we see the lead coming from Duck. I mean, we saw the Duck sweep last set. Looking pretty good on this first stock. Yep. Did Peanut just stop Grenade or did Grenade preemptively blow up? No, no, it stops it. Oh, wow. No, it's, that's good, it's, that's it's, good information. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's an option. Like, you know, against, it's not going to blow up Nikita. <laughs> against, against Snake, you really have to like get creative with a lot of the moves you like don't think about using that much. Yes. Because they... While they may not, you know, have a normal use, there's like probably some edge case use they have against uh, mm -hmm. grenades. All right, now if you are duck right back here, throw. he's oh, gonna roll out. I was gonna say just back throw him. I was yeah. like, don't don't you go for that read. If you're not confident in a read, yeah, back throw into edge guard is more optimal. Yeah, like. Like, uh, you have a, what, a one-third chance of getting the read? Really, a one-fourth? That's a 25%. That's, I don't like those odds. No, whereas you back throw, then it's Nikita time, and then you have your ledge trap, you know? Speaking of Nikita, just facing the wrong way with that up tilt. Yep. Duck just playing real solid. Okay, well. No grab? Yeah, I'm actually, well, that grab definitely kills at this percent. Yep. For those not aware in chat, Snake at about 160% against every character. If you're sitting at 160 and Snake, grab, Snake grabs you, they can get down throw up tilt, guaranteed. Speaking of grab, Monkey Flip putting in some work. Oh man, you, are, you need to find the stock. If you're Kirby. I just feel like Diddy Kong can't be living to 193, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I think, like, basically anything gets it done now. Like, you know, if you sneak a dash attack in there, it'll... Okay. Up tilt. We'll finally find that up tilt. He's getting hit by a second grenade. <laughs> now you got to play, you know, pretty careful. Make sure you don't, like, get out, eating up too much by Diddy Kong. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Monkey flip is just so good for Shimmy. And when Snake has a grenade cooked and he's holding it, you cannot pummel it will blow up and we're gonna see banana up smash there and university of mount union down to their last stock of the second set but it is snake though yep look at that already 60 percent yeah but like he had to blow himself up to do it oh wait that's oh, you're that, gone goodbye that, that's it air dodge up jk uh to finish that uh, duck would have had to go all the way down there didn't feel like risking it no makes a ton of sense. It does. I, you know, unless you want to end up on those compilations of, you know, top 10 throne crew battles. Yes. Oh, that was such a Waited good roll call out. Nothing. I know, it was nothing, but Duck had the idea. There was something brewing in the head. Oh, Monkey Flip is so good. Forward smash. Oh, that's it. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the pause. No, end it with dignity. Come on. Unpause. There we oh, go. That's, oh, that, <laughs> that's funny right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that second set's going to go to Manchester University. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that pause. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was funny right there. Now, as long as you didn't quit out. You know, you know I, <laughs> the, I I always find it really funny when someone does the pause on, like, the first hit of a multi-hit. So, get, because Smash 1, you don't know for sure if it's yes, all connecting. Yep. <laughs> yeah, multi-hits in Smash Ultimate don't work sometimes. It work sometimes. It don't work sometimes. Now, did he forward Smash? That's going to work well, That's right pretty there. consistent. That's but, you know, it's right still there. just pause on the first hit. I'm like, there's a chance. You could fall out of that, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but now we have a lead for Manchester University up at 2-0. Let's get another duck sweep. That's to, right. Uh, get them ahead. Duck took four stocks that crew battle? Yeah, oh. UMU does not seem to have an answer to duck. Wow, that leaves duck with 10 total stocks so far. Yeah, Out of good. the 18 that they've taken. Or 18? Yep. It's yeah, like 18. We might be out of here quicker than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, it wouldn't surprise me if they actually put in Duck first on this next crew battle. Oh, just to, just initiate the Duck sweep immediately. Yeah, there's no answer. Like, the the guy, the guy, it has, it has no answer. Diddy Kong's a hard, card, uh, hard character to answer. Like, uh, I, I said I liked the snake idea, but the, the snake you know, still ended up getting mixed. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy, though, because it's like, realistically, Diddy should struggle against Snake. Right? Diddy yeah. wants to get in on you, and if Snake has any grenade near him, Diddy's not going to be able to, you know, penetrate that wall that Snake likes to set up. Yep. Uh, it's, you know, historically a pretty difficult uh, matchup for Diddy Kong. You know, just uh, just overloads your <laughs> the items that you're trying to play with. Uh, Snake generally doesn't have to approach anywhere into you. No, he no, can, no, no. He has very, uh, like, creative ways to uh, force the kill on you. So, like, you know, it's... It's kind of difficult, especially when you're behind. Playing against Snake oh. with any character while you're behind is pretty bad. When Snake has a lead, he becomes top five in the game. Yeah, it's unreal. So good. So, you know, we'll see. The players are still figuring it out. Still, mm. on that, uh, still on that last victory screen. All right, so we got some updates. The Kirby 101 is Snake, and we have Mikey on uh, Kazuya or Joker. Or Joker. You know. Oh, Joker's a pretty good crew battle character. We, we, we got we have a Kazuya Mishima here. We're just not sending him in. Well, also, That's, no, Manchester has a Kazuya, too. Kazuya? Yeah, we, actually, we, now we that you mention it. We just got some Kazuyas waiting in the wings. We're just not sending them in. I was about to say, so, Kazuya, one of those zero-to-death like, like, characters. Look, look, look. I'm just saying, when you need a wild card in a crew battle, I, <laughs> I don't think you get more wild than Kazuya than Kaz Mishima. <laughs> just, uh, we were talking about Luigi earlier being good in crew battles. Well, Kazuya is just better Luigi. Like, literally. Yes. So. Uh, you know, I... Uh, I I I would have thrown in Kazuya way earlier if <laughs> I knew I had one in a crew battle. That is a that is a potent character. Also, being a heavy in a crew battle too. Being a heavy is advantageous. Oh, it is just general survivability. So. Yeah, because you're playing for a team. That's and right. Like, crew battles I, teams. I haven't seen like any like character on the other side that like he heavily punishes Kazuya. Maybe Min Min mm -hmm. is like the only one, but like I haven't seen any like character that like really dishes it out to what Kazuya does. Even Diddy Kong like. You know, just died at Kazuya just gets that one hit. I was about to say, yeah, Kazuya just needs one electric opening and then get his zero to 80 and then get another electric into the uppy and Diddy's dead. Five minute break. Oh, what? Five the minute heck? break? Okay. I don't know if we're cutting or if we have to fill, but don't worry. We'll stick with you, everybody. So mm -hmm. we got a. Uh, all right, yeah, sure. We, we're going to cut We're going to cut a out quick for a break. Uh, don't worry. We will be back with uh, more of the Collegiate Crew Battle soon and uh, see uh, how it ends. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to our Great Lakes Esports Conference Championship Sunday. It's BFP and Karen Ol again, it's and we're about Sunday, to get in. Huh? <laughs> it's not Sunday. <laughs> oh, it is. It's Championship Saturday. That's right. It's Championship Saturday. Yeah, that's you're right. Good. You're good? <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're, it looks like we're getting right back into it. Uh, University of Mountain Union versus Manchester United. Get that out of our face! <laughs> and now we're back into the match. Oh, Terry Bogar. Okay. Oh, the 99-second crack the shoot. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love me a good old 99 second uh, crack shoot. Yeah, we got air for the University of Mount Union and augment for Manchester University on this set number three. Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen air in like all of these matches so far. Oh, oh. What? That, that was funny. That was okay. What an interaction. We uh, we play a complete game here. <laughs> now, FGC characters can get pinned down by Thunder Joel. So I'm surprised we're not seeing air camp a little bit more. Uh, I just, I, I just don't think it's that great of an option. Are you okay? ah! uh, I'll tell you what is a good option. Anything when Terry is, sh or when Terry is show and go. Uh, they, I think we're getting a bit spooky again. Like we've said before, Pikachu can struggle a little bit to kill. Uh -huh. Whoa, it almost uh -huh. came down. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. It's over right here. It's over. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, which side of the stage are you going to, Air? He went to the one that Terry's no, on? Okay, okay. No, you go to the other side of the stage there, Air. No, love did it, you throw love it. it. Did you okay, oh. I was gonna say, I was like, did you throw did you throw all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, now you gotta avoid attacking Terry's shield. You're gonna get up smashed if you do. Whoa, that almost been, that got hit by good. the second one. Oh god. Uh gonna live this on nope. Smashville? Nope. Oh. oh that is Pikachu. Pikachu is gone. Oh wow. Air with air was down and put up the out of here. Yeah, that's that's a pretty true confirm too for Terry. Uh I 
I don't think you can SDI out of the up B, but you can SDI away the jabs to not get hit by the up B. All right. What have we got to answer? Uh, yeah, well, Duck's been on a sweep. Duck has been on a sweep, but even, even so, just not a great showing. But, you know, so this time, let's see if he's able to, you know, you know get something you know, a bit cleaner mm -hmm. out there. Blake, you're saying Purple Luigi's the best in chat. It is the best. It is the best. 100%. Don't let Yoder lie to you. I played, uh, whenever I play Luigi, I played the uh, orange and blue. Orange and blue one? Hey, that's my partner's favorite. Yeah, I, I like I like that one. Whenever I, sometimes I'll go online and change my Switch name to Smurf and play as the blue Luigi. That's my second favorite. I always say that I'm Smurfing. It's my Smurf account. All right, here we are. Oh, so, yep, you were right. Uh, that would be uh, uh, Noble back on Pokemon Trainer. All right. On Pokemon Stadium too. Yes. Also how thematic. A little, a little bit of home field advantage for PT. Let's see if it leads to anything. All right, there's the time. We're good to go. Starting Ivysaur. You know what? I, you know what? All right. You know what? I like this more. I like actually. it. I, I like the start of Ivysaur. Yeah. I, I like the, because you know. A lot of people just, you know, go through, you know, the motions of, yeah, you know, just you play a squirtle at these percent, you play Ivysaur at this percent, and then you... But if you actually know the matchups, like, I've seen people start Charizard before. Yes, And yeah. I was like, you know what? That's correct. Yep. I mean, we were talking about it earlier with Snake. Like, Snake, you should start Ivysaur. I, I can I could see starting uh, Ivysaur against Snake. That being said, uh, we're on Charizard right now because things, uh, things went kind of wrong. Uh, like how I was talking about <laughs> with, uh, with, you know, PT versus... It's okay. Yeah, you, right. you see what I was talking about when I said I don't know if I like sending PT into uh, FGC character? Because mm -hmm. th something like this can go wrong. Good parry from Noble. What's your advantage state here? There's three up there, it's not good enough. I told you, Terry struggles to land. Like, you should keep him above you at all times. It's a very bold <laughs> waterfall, but hey, we made it work. Oh my god! god the double <laughs> <laughs> If it over, works, please. it works. Oh, scary Terry percentage, though. It is go time. Oh, don't be oh, in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> did you see, did you see oh. sticking that leg out? <laughs> No, okay. you're alive, but <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, you just keep seeing him stick that leg out. You're like, ah, oh, man. <sighs> if you're noble, you gotta kill Ogman right here. That shouldn't oh, that's kill. Good. That shouldn't kill. Nope. Next one will. Yep, that is a good move, but Fly is very diable. That's, that's it! Oh! 2-1% percent and the back, the back is going to take, take it, it out. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Just barely bouncing you, off the ledge there. You could see, you could see in the player camp, Noble's heart stop. Yes. <laughs> you could see, see it momentarily. Oh it gosh! You just you see him stick that leg out, that, that big old calf. Yeah, oh my. <laughs> and you know what's coming next. If Charizard doesn't bounce off of the ledge there, he's gone. He's just... No, I think he just, he just flew a bit too far. You think he flew a bit too far? A bit too much range on Terry, a bit, bit too much percent on Charizard. You don't think it was a slide-off situation? No, I, I think we just flew a bit too far to uh, get that. I, um, I mean, I mean, sometimes it'll happen. Like, that, honestly, that stinky leg of Terry's, it's really at, at its best when it's stealing your stock yeah, at, like, yeah. 40. Well, I mean, you get a down tilt conversion. You get a down tilt conversion as Terry, and that's automatic probably 40% if you're at yeah. you know your lower percents because you get down tilt into just about anything with Terry. And do you know if his down tilt is like the other fighting game characters frame 2? Oh, uh, it's frame fast. It's know. frame fast. I, I <laughs> Dude, I hate Terry's down tilt. <laughs> it's so good. It's crazy. It's got to be, uh, you know. Like the other FGC characters down tilt, so I'm like, yeah, sure, I can. I, mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, whatever. We can, we can work. I'll work with this. I, I, it's like this is good on my shield, but whatever. I'll, when I, when I get down tilted on my shield by Terry, I'm like, I am under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Panic sets in. Huh? It's like, well, what is happening? I, I don't feel safe <laughs> in my own home. <laughs> yes, shield should be your comfort, your yeah, own it's space. Like, it's, it's my shield. Everything's safe here. No, I don't need to worry about anything. Actually. Uh, Terry's exactly. Terry's gonna be in an intruder. <laughs> They're gonna send in Grimbo, the piranha plant. 
Okay, I mean, this worked before. Uh, I could sort of see it against... Uh, on Battlefield, okay. Um, I would think Pokemon Trainer is really good on Battlefield compared to Plant. And we're starting Squirtle. Yeah, you should start Squirtle against a Heavy, I, I would I would imagine. Yep. Unless that Heavy is Snake. Yeah. Oh, almost getting the tech call out with the Patui. Oh, wow. Squirtle's going to struggle to get in against that Nair. Because Squirtle's going to want to look to get a grab to do his 40%. Oh, yeah. Not a bad switch. All right. Now we've got the setup. Oh, but the Razor is going to interrupt part of that. Now, we know Noble likes to go for his Razor Leaf Confirms. We oh, saw, yeah. We've seen it a couple times now. And oh. when you're down one stock, you need all the Confirms you can get. Okay, uh, being ill-advised on that uh, forward smash. <laughs> but whatever, we'll figure it out. Barely avoiding that Patui. Barely. Okay. Oh, uh, come on, get this one. Oh, <sighs> you, you jumped too high. Unfortunate. Okay, uh, plant back there, not going to take it. Patui's going to be the ledge trap. This Razor Leaf, though, is really good for, uh, you know, the the option that against Patui. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll no. throw a little bit too early. I, I would have thought back throw to edge guard. Maybe he thought he was under the platformer or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that was a... It's Don't up here, here it's stale. Of there. Nope, stale. Yeah. Yeah, I would have gone for the back throw in that situation. But, you know, we're that, okay, four token taken. Found it. All, All right, you're at Charizard with Rage now. Honestly, do some things. Honestly, I got score to win for eight seconds. Yeah? I don't I don't think or I don't know if Charizard has like the damage potential here that like Squirtle getting two hits with. Never mind. Okay, wow, oh, Fly just you goes with Patui. Should have done a second one. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked. He didn't have that one. He was right above it. It would have worked. It, it would have. Would have worked. <laughs> like near max reach. It's like it's gone. <laughs> I like that Nova did keep uh Grimbo above him right there. Ooh. Oh, all right. No, we'll get, who's going to find the grab first? Grab one, two, <laughs> shimmy right there. Okay, hold on a minute. Things are really cooking for Noble now. I'm trying to get that forward tilt two frame. Like, we've talked about Plant before, uh, about how, you know, they're really good with a stock lead. I don't see a stock lead on There's right not now. a stock lead, and this is an up smash. Wait a minute. Not quite. I, I actually like the re-grab there. Yeah, Just yeah, get yeah. him off, get a little bit more... Pro oh! <gasps> what? Just hitting the lip Man, of Battlefield? Uppy. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that Grimbo didn't recover. Yeah, and like... And alive! And alive! Only doing 6% of the upside. All right, never mind. I was wrong. Save Charizard all you want. <laughs> <laughs> I was right about that double fly, though. That, that, that you know, put that one in the, noble, in the uh, notebook, Noble. Now we're going to see four stocks to four stocks. Oh, you see, in that situation, Grimbo wants you to hit him when he's charging Patui because he knows Patui's going to hit below yep. him. Okay, bad trade. Oh, uh, yeah, Patui, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Patui's better than, uh, than Razor, Razor Leaf. One Razor Leaf, <laughs> for sure. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by that Piranha Plant. The Miss Tech? Oh, 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 everybody keeps doing that third one. I wonder if it's like a down tilt, trying to put down tilt too fast. Or maybe another tilt? Yeah, maybe some tilt. I don't know. I just cook with a smash attack. You know, yeah. Was... <laughs> All right. Double fly's not working. There. Oh, okay, the anti-air okay. back here. Ooh. I would have gone Get for another ass. one. Oh, come on. I, I, I wanted to see a bit more out sure. after there, but that's fine. Anyway, the Charizard's been what's working so far. Yes, so yeah. I mean, yeah, Noble really likes to, to do these flies out of shield. I think flies it is are fast. Great yeah, it is fast. Pretty sure like it's frame three or four. Pretty sure it's that fast. I know Charizard has one of the fastest up smashes out of shield. Oh yeah. And it's good too. It's a strong up smash. Wouldn't surprise me if that's how Noble tries to take this last stock too. Oh, Ooh. good forward throw. Put him off. Can I see a flamethrower? Yes. Yes, <laughs> and it's gonna do damage. Him. Keep doing it! Oh, good re Fourth throw, fourth throw, again. Yeah. Now up throw's gonna kill. Uh-oh, no shield, this is dangerous. Oh, oh forwarder's gonna kill too! Yep, uh, ended up up being at a, uh, you know, not a great not angle. Not a great angle. And uh, well, that's gonna take it there. So uh, good stuff from uh, Noble there, able to uh, clinch the lead yes. for the team there. Uh,
you know, maybe they thought that uh, the Prana Plant worked against the PT before, but, you know, this time, uh, you know, Noble had it really figured out. Yeah. Uh, very good Charizard play. It was Charizard. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, it was the Charizard there. <laughs> That's, you know, we talked about it. We're like, oh, Charizard might not be the best, you know? And then, well, Noble proves us wrong. Good for uh, Noble. Yeah, Noble giving the thumbs up to the team. Uh, so, you know, taking the lead for uh, uh, North Union. Great, or, yeah. North Mountain Union. Union. Yep, yep. Mountain Union. That's right, that's right. And uh, it would not surprise me if Manchester University sends in Duck. Oh, there, there he is. is. Uh, the star of today, really. Uh, so, chat, we did to see. Another Duck 190 sweet. I'm just gonna say, chat. We did uh, we did the calculations while we were on break, and out of the 18 possible stocks that Mount Union has lost, Duck has taken 10 of them. 10. So. Do I hear a distant quacking? Oh, you might. Oh ho ho! It's so funny because wasn't Quack one of the name of? Um, Someone from Mount Union as yeah, well. So that's Black was a <laughs> that's the double member. pun right there. Blue eyes. <laughs> Pokemon trainer. All right. Well, here we are. First off, like I was saying before, I like Diddy Kong and the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, yeah. And we already saw it work once. So already saw what Duck does to this matchup. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if he can perform some magic again. I do want to see check if he can get out. another one of those you know 190 degree sweeps on him. I oh, he's getting pumped! He is getting pumped. He was listening to his music earlier, so... Alrighty, we're gonna start. It is four stocks versus three. So and we are starting on Squirtle. We are. We are deciding to start on Squirtle today. Oh, and that is her final destination. If you know anything about Diddy Kong, you know that he this, loves this stage. This is Diddy's best stage. So... Realistically, Diddy should never lose on this stage. Uh, hold on, well, hold on. Realistic. There, there, if everything goes perfect. Like, especially in the, uh, Smash Ultimate, there are never any stages where I say, oh, the character is auto wins. Like, people love to say Kazuya FD. I'm like, no, that's... <laughs> I was like, I've seen, I've seen Marth FD in Melee. You want to talk about Oh, actual, talk about polarizing. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, so I'll just say he's had a good, pretty good advantage here. Not an auto win by any means, though. I love that conditioning for the shield. Oh, I don't like that Flare Blitz. That was a risky Flare Blitz. It got him out of the corner and worked, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Sometimes in the face of Duck, you, you know, gotta put some extreme options out there. That was just unfortunate, that down tilt getting beaten by... And you game. should be dead. Oh, wow. Actually not missing. You know what? Uh, I just this don't... should be it. Oh, good DI out. I, I really say, that's the thing, I just read... Oh, uh, no. Hey, hey, yo. Yeah, yo, what? Not catching the ledge there. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, man. It just did, it just did re reverse up -y and, uh I just didn't snap ledge. Oh, well, yep. Uh, you do have worse magnet hands when you're facing away from the ledge. Um, but, uh, you know, it is unfortunate. Uh, I mean, again, Duck was in a great position otherwise, but, you know, still not great to uh, go out like that when you could have otherwise recovered to the ledge. I'm in trying case, to it, see if Duck is ranked in the state of Indiana. That's where Manchester University is from, is in Indiana. And they just recently released an algorithm of uh, their top 150. <laughs> oh, my God. That, so, that whole thing. Oh, that was crazy. So, yeah. If you're curious, it's uh, at ShoeStats on Twitter. He has been releasing, or they have been releasing, top 100 character representatives or top 100 players in their states currently checking now to see if duck is one of them because duck has just been on a tear recently absolutely i mean what is it that's that's his 11th stock if they're not currently ranked they have been ranked in the i state see i off. see Excellent stuff from Duck. Now, what are we sending in against him? Yeah, because it seems like Duck has been your answer, or like their answer to everything, and it's, it's just going to be a, a battle amongst yourselves. Like, well, what do we do? So uh, it's tricky. Like, again, I think they're tanking real hard on what their answer to Duck has to be. Because, uh, oh, oh, that is peculiar. Is that? Well, that is Walugi. That's going to be a Zelda. Well, that is interesting. I, 
You actually don't like that against uh, Diddy Kong. Yeah, the no. The classic uh, low tier versus Diddy Kong is uh, not great. Yeah, I am not seeing Duck on here for the Indiana Top 150, but boy, is he playing like it today. Yep. And as you said, this is just going to be a matchup of good character versus not as good character. Yep. Okay, then they're going to shield poke, do a little bit there. Oh, Neighbors Love, the Reflector, actually probably going to see some mileage in it in this matchup due to it reflecting Banana. Oh, but Diddy can just shut you down so hard. Oh, yeah. And Diddy can just run away from Knight. Like, Diddy's pretty quick in the air. Oh, yeah, this has all these options to deal with uh, what Zelda wants to put out. Zelda, again, a, a character that suffers from an affliction known as uh, weak to monkey flip. Weak to monkey flip. <laughs> She's not the only character either. <laughs> monkey flip's just good. Yeah, but, <laughs> uh, I mean, but really, like, uh, what options do you think Zelda has to stop a monkey from coming at her? Oh, God. Maybe, maybe Good Phantom line. Knight. Oh, that's going to be not the greatest DI. Yep. That's going to take. Unfortunately, uh, DI'd in mm -hmm. and uh, uh, caused him to die there. Oh, and this is just pure insurance if you are Duck right now. Oh, uh, Duck looking for that Z drop Nair and <laughs> down there. He, he is hungry. It was a bit cheeky from him right there. All right. Oh, Banana just going to hit. Got to get the confirm as well. I just in the corner against Diddy with Banana. Oh. It's just the worst possible place to be. Already at almost 92%. Oh, where are you going? What? You think you can escape from there? <laughs> you can. That's. Oh, the shimmy. <laughs> Duck is just moving and grooving at a 10 right now. He, he saw that. Oh, oh he saw it. Miles away. He knew it was coming. So we have Duck now taking his 13th stock. Wow. Oh, going to get caught by a phantom. But, oh, that's all, it's all right. That's the first stock he's dropped in uh, this game so far. It might be the last stock he drops in this game if uh, he's able to keep this momentum up. Yeah, University of Mount Union on their final stock. Down 2-0 here. Throwing out Din's Fire versus Diddy Kong. Yeah, that's a mistake. Ooh. Oh. Man, Diddy just hits like a truck. Get out of the corner. You can't be in the corner. Okay, that was too much. All right, Duck, feeling yourself a bit too hard. Mm, oh, you know, soft when spot. you're built with some sour spots in there. Oh, that's a risky. Oh, you cannot be upping in the corner. Banana will catch you every time. Diddy is like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let myself get caught dead with some sour spots. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, definitely not. Diddy, that's oh. it. That's it. All sweet spots here, baby. And that is going to be Duck taking it for the team. Wow, that's going to be Manchester University winning our Great Lakes Esports Conference Championship. And, oh, know, that's a risky. Uh, oh, you cannot said, be you upping know, in the corner. Banana will catch you every second. time. Diddy's duck like, one one I wouldn't let that's myself a duck get caught dead with some sour spots. Total stops. No, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. All sweet spots here, baby. And that is going to be Duck taking it for the very well played from Duck. And you know what? We're out of here before 5 o'clock. We are out of here out before, of here five before 5 o'clock. Can you believe it, everybody? Wow, that was, that was just so good. Duck, like I said, moving and grooving, playing on a 10 today. Oh, yeah. It was his day. It was Duck's day, taking 14 out of 27 stocks. That's over 50%. Yeah. Wow. It was, it was really good. I don't know what to say. It was just very impressive play from uh, Duck. You know, uh, clean play for Diddy Kong. Played like all of the matchups, sort of how I would expect Diddy Kong to play them. Yep. Yep. Uh, had their combo game just you know really tight. We're able to get like a good like decent like Diddy Kong like you know normally average like his one to two does like you know probably like eighteen ish percent. Yep. Duck King always finding that like optimal way to like extend that to like you know a decent like twenty seven to thirty one percent. All adds up insanely well when you have such a consistent kill confirm yes. in you know, banana shuffling. anything. Banana anything just takes the stock oh, for you. Oh, Z throw. Oh, oh, this. <laughs> that is awesome. Congratulations to Manchester University. Yep, Undefeated stuff. season and didn't yeah, drop uh, a game like today. We, like we said, uh, UMU again. They made two upsets yeah. to get here. You know, against you know undefeated uh, teams, but you know sometimes it's you know hard to keep up. It's that it momentum. Is. You get, sometimes only get you so far, and sometimes you know it gets you know turned one ninety degrees and <laughs> sent back out the other way. Just send it through the door that they came in from, huh? Yep.
It's great. I honestly, I truly hope all of the players here at the Great Lakes Esports Conference Championship, both yesterday and today, had a ton of fun competing. You know, all of these players worked hard all season to get here. They left everything at the door, played super well. Hopefully they can take something away. Every single mm -hmm. player can take something away from events like this. Because it's truly, it's amazing to have events like this going on. Yeah, Collegiate Crew is really awesome. Uh, just a lot of stuff. I know I, you know, I did it uh, when uh, I was, you know, in college. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you, were, don't, you don't. were an OSU student at a time. I, 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 at one one time. In time, yeah, sure. I sure was, you know, an OSU student near the time that I was entered <laughs> the Collegiate. Well, you know, don't need to talk about that. And in any case... Uh, that was a great Smash Finals. Uh, we're going to throw it to a uh, break for a bit. Uh, you're going to stick around if you want to catch League of Legends uh, Collegiate Finals uh, yep, yep. for those who are into that. But uh, yeah, that's been it. It's been me, Karanol, BFP. Uh, find me at Karanol. Find me at Big F King Pigeon. Yep. And uh, we will see you all next time. Thanks yep. for turning in. Yeah, take care.